eight of them. Eight. Eight uh, segments makes a roller. Right. And does each roller have a north and south? North and yes, pole? they do, but they have variations, which, it, oh, which is the waveform we're talking about. Right. So it's a very special type of so magnetization that, then. It's not. It's very special. Yes. Every right. segment, eight segments, are individual magnets, right. well, magnetic devices. Yes. They have information printed on each one. Right. They're not only magnets, and through the center it's a monopole that holds them together. Right. Now normally that the fields pull each one too tight. Mm -hmm. So we have to on one side the face of each segment we have to put another wave on that gently eases it off the one below it. Right. So that eases so it. Are, are all eight of the, of the parts that make up the roller, are they all identical or are they all different? They're all identical. They're all identical, yeah. right. And, what, and is the central part made up of eight slices as well? No, that's just it's one. just a single, it's a single. Think of that as the fixed standard, right. And, right. but it does have a, way, uh, a type of waveform. Right. And let's, ju let's just go on to the operational side of it, because will it work with just the central core and one set of rollers? Will it, will it produce... Uh, they will all spin, and of course, if you advance a coil with a bulb to pick up that energy, right. it will it like the bulb. Yeah, in right. theory, you can have one roller going around, but to make one it... One single roller. One single roller, and that'll be enough to demonstrate the Searle effect, which is right. the objective of our company, Searle Magnetics. Right, good. Now then, let's just go on to the uh, operational side, now that we've had a look at the materials. Every electric motor works on using the Lorentz force, yeah, the, uh, that we know right. of in electrical right. engineering. Okay, you have Fleming's right-hand rule, sure. where you have um, a current in, 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 you know, at, at right angles to each other. Sure. So you've got yeah. the current, you've got a, um, a field, sure. second, sorry, f um, first finger field, second finger current thumb, it m moves yeah. that way. You have to have the two, and it moves that way. Of course. Now, is there electric current in this generator? Definitely. And you can use those um, right hand principle, I mean, uh, right angled uh, vectors on the SEG. The electric is from the axis radially out. The magnetic is, um, you know, vertically. So and velocity is the So the electric current is going from the center, from the, the very center, center, center and radi radiating out. Outwards in all directions. Yeah. Correct. Yeah. So that's a bit like a Faraday disk then. Uh, like yeah. or like a yeah, monopolar uh, yes. generator. Yeah. yeah. So, uh, from a, a technical perspective, the, the SEG is legitimately a motor or a generator, right. depending on your motor. Yeah. Okay. Because right. You you have to bear in mind, in normal generation, that the electrons are all at random, mm -hmm. at random state. This uh, unit don't allow that. It brings them into a uniform, mm -hmm. which means now. The power moving through like a diode through the system mm -hmm. is very compressed and it's very powerful, mm -hmm. which a normal generator that does all the time, ra random, all the way through the system. So you right. generate heat. When they're compressed like that, the electrons can't bang about. Mm -hmm. so they're, they're tied like a load of traps traveling in one direction. Mm -hmm. So you don't get this loss of energy from the uh, generation. Right. right. You have to make a distinction between Joust technology and a uh, normal tech that we're used to. At the atomic level, uh, you see a, a lot of uh, random process taking place, which creates heating and all that. Right. Uh, SEG, the SEG technology is uniform. Right. In other words, it's coherent, yeah. vibrating, directional. Uh, you don't have the chaos. Right. And that's the difference. So, so when the electric current reaches the outside of the, of the, of the inner ring, how does it, does it go through the rollers then? Or we're, we're dealing with a different kind of electricity here. Right. We're, we're all used to the single electron that acts like yeah. a particle bouncing around, kicking yeah. around. And, you know, it, it accelerates, stops because it, it comes across an, an atom or something. It accelerates, stops. Sorry, just, just a second. You've had a few military Yeah, I've noticed. <laughs> I have, really. I, can I think they're on to us. I think it'll be okay, Kerry. I'm sure. Yeah. <clears throat> like a drink, John. It's we're not, we're not clipping at all. It's not clipping, is it? On occasional words. It's just a tiny bit too long. It's <laughs> 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 All right, mate, mate, clear here. As the electrons come off the plate, 
on the back of the road. Yeah, too much noise outside, we're gonna wait. Yeah, I just give an idea. You must have seen my 911 talk. <laughs> <laughs> He's mangling the best part, too. I <laughs> know. Oh, it's alright. Right. Let's go. Right. Uh, yeah. We talked about the electric current being different to uh, what we would normally think of, of electricity flowing down a, a single wire. Is, is right. Conventional electricity u utilizes the, a, a, an electron, but with the SEG, it actually forms um, a pair of electrons uh, or a boson. Right. And that's, it's, you still get the electric currents and all that. Mm -hmm. It's just that it behaves more like a photon. Mm -hmm. And uh, when it does exit the machine, it splits up again, and you see a little bit of a uh, halo because photons are being emitted. Right. I, I have interviewed a guy who uh, has written a book all about um, uh, photons and electrons, and he believes that 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 a photon, sorry, that, that a photon, sorry, an electron is basically a photon mm -hmm. in a like a, in a double loop. Right. So, so there's a, so that's where you've got this distinction between um, matter and energy. You know, the, the photon is energy with no mass, whereas the electron is mass, and you know so. So, you, so the, at what point are we creating photons? Where do the photons emerge? Uh, be, between uh, material layers, right. uh, using the uh, a Hall effect. Right. Uh, and uh, that's how um, uh, electrons are compressed. And once they become uh, a pair of electrons, it becomes a different entity. It no, it no longer behaves like a normal electron. Mm -hmm. It behaves more like a photon. Mm -hmm. And therefore, you, you have high velocities Whereas normal electricity that you have here, yeah. is, it just it has a drift velocity of a yeah. fraction of an inch per second and creating a lot of heating with the SEG. By the time it exits, it could be going at, at the, near the speed of light. 